Clarence Drive is a magnificent scenic coastal drive between the windswept hamlet of Royals and the naval town of Gordons Bay, which nestles in the northeastern crook of False Bay in the shadow of the Hottentots Hollands Mountains. This beautiful coastal drive stretches between the two towns over a distance of 21,4 kilometers, hugging the wild turquoise cape coastline all the way. If you like passes with lots of corners, then this one is for you, as it contains 77 bends, curves and corners, of which 4 are in excess of 150 degrees. The road is in a beautiful condition and attracts tourists, locals, bikers and cyclists in their droves. Overtaking is fairly limited and in general one can expect to average well below 60 km per hour. The path starts at the eastern summit of the Royals Ravine and immediately commences with a gradual left hand bend and the steepest gradient of the entire pass at 1 in 10. There's a speed camera halfway down this initial descent and the speed limit here is 60 km per hour. The small hamlet of Royals is a windswept collection of mainly holiday homes. As the road curves through a big right hand bend, the estuary and river are crossed at the lowest altitude on the route of only 3 meters above sea level. The road is in impeccable condition after a recent revamp. It's one of those drives that national and international tourists alike should not leave Cape Town without experiencing. The road is named after Jack Clarence, whose vision and foresight motivated the construction of the road. There are two stone cairns erected on the side of the road at different points along the pass. One is in honor of Jack Clarence and the other is to commemorate the modernization and upgrading of the road in 1998. This is one of those roads that should ideally be driven at a leisurely pace. The 1998 upgrade has created a marvelous safe road with lots of places to stop to enjoy the breathtaking views of the dramatic scenery of towering mountains meeting the rugged coastline. The road has become a standard must-do trip for tourists on their Cape Peninsula bucket list. The route will take approximately 30 minutes to drive. It ends at Gordon's Bay, which is named after a Scot, Colonel Robert Gordon, who was the last commander of the Dutch East India garrison in the Cape. The video starts on the R44, heading westwards towards Royals. There's a beautiful beach at Royals with its own estuary, but beware of a dangerous backwash. As the road starts climbing out of Royals, keep a lookout for some dark rocks on the side of the road where there was once an old tunnel and a manganese mine. The road has a multitude of well-designed places to stop. During the winter whale watching season, Clarence Drive is a popular place for local and international visitors to enjoy the sight of whales breaching and frolicking close to the coastal road. There are many crosses and memorials erected along the road. These are mainly for fishermen who have lost their lives along this treacherous coastline. Keep a lookout for the Sparks Bay Day Camp, which is a popular picnic area which overlooks a small stony beach, but if you go a little further beyond the public toilets into the next bay, you'll find a lovely sandy beach surrounding a calm walled tidal pool. If you've never driven this fabulous coastal road, then put it on your bucket list, and if you really want to enjoy it to the full, try driving it at sunrise. You'll have the road virtually to yourself and the soft light of dawn drapes the wild land and seascape in gentle pastel shades. This is one of the most scenic coastal drives in South Africa and well worth the effort. It is also the first part of Route 3, the Whale Route, and features dramatic coastline and beaches, Feinbos biosphere, jackass penguin colonies, baboons, whale watching, birding, shark cage diving and hiking and then also there's some fine wine estates just to round things off. The route undulates along the mountainside at times almost down to the level of the waves and at others rising well above the water's edge allowing one the opportunity to stop at any of the numerous viewing sites to enjoy the beautiful views of False Bay. Jack Clarence was the man responsible for replacing the original footpath between Gordons Bay and Royals with a proper road. It was built with the help of Italian prisoners of war during World War II and stretches all the way from Gordons Bay into Claremont and the heart of the Kuchelberg biosphere. In this botanical hotspot you can see more than 1650 different plant species and there's always something in flower. About 77 are noteworthy endemics Pop into the Biosphere Eco Center at the Village Shop in Royals for information on local fauna and flora and a label display of flowers in season. The pass ends at the crossing of a small river near Kuchelbay. 
Be sure to watch part 2 which covers the northern half of the route.